This is the thing, I can't cope because everyone's just brainwashed. You don't even understand nothing. For real, so I can't engage with no one because everyone doesn't understand me neither. There is no 24 shut out. Well, there is. It's London, but it's just like when I put in for fucking paracetamol, nothing comes up. There's just, I can't get none. They're not going to have none. So there's no <laughs> point. I wish I had some painkillers, I really do. What do I do? I can't say it. My head's banging, man. It's not normal. It's like I react to the alcohol or something. That it's like the chemical, the imbalance has just made my head like foggy. It's, it's like, I don't know, it's not normal. It's like I've got something's not right. Honest to God, it's so bad. I've I've got like a uh, I've, I've got some chemical imbalance or something. I don't know. It's not normal. Yeah, so much wrong with my head, man. It's I don't know, man. It's mad. That's why I can't drink because it affects me so bad, man. I can't explain. I don't drink water, man. I can't drink it. I can only drink hot water. And that's why I'm just drinking tea and that. It's because I didn't eat. I didn't eat. But I can't eat now. I feel sick. I don't have soda water. I feel like I want to throw up. I feel ill, man. I can't even get no tablets. Look at this, famous, you know, no, no tablets, nothing. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Sorry, Burris, I took all the mods off last night as well. Something else. <laughs> like, it was sad when I was like. <coughs> I don't know, I was on one um, and I think no one was in. No, not, not one moderator was in, but I know it was late. So. 
That's probably why I am. Hello, Christy. Oh, Christy, darling. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't hate me, sweetheart. <laughs> There we go, sweetheart. Christy was in all night. You're joking. Was she Christy? I swear, Christy, I, I didn't even know. I thought everyone just left, man. You know, sometimes you have to understand when I'm upset and I'm emotional and especially intoxicated and I don't see one moderator in my chat, don't expect me not to fucking remove everyone then because I, I feel like they do it on purpose. It's like I've got all this support, but the moment when I'm at breaking point or I'm upset, no one's there to support you, Chelsea. So really, that's how it feels. So that's why I get that anger and upset because I just think I'm at breaking point at the minute and not no one of my people is even in because you know what deep down inside they don't give a shit about you Chelsea they only care about you when fucking you're doing well do you understand I noticed that a lot I noticed that people are up my ass when I'm fucking doing really well and I'm getting all the gifts and I'm doing this and I'm doing that the moment they think that I fell off they want to start chatting shit about me they want to be rude they, 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 they just fuck you off so they're the clout chasers they're not real. So no, he said, yes, he did that. I just thought. Sarah Lou, thank you. Thank you, Christine. And then everyone can pretend to be a Chelsea Lee art from which, you know, because they're real bitches gone. I'm done out of this app. You've lost me because to be a real creator and to have created some real shit. And I made the whole four fucking years into this app, darling. Four years. I'm gone. Call me a trendsetter, call me whatever it is you want to call me, darling. go shopping i don't want to go shopping i don't even want to come outside my house i don't want to be in the public eye no more thank you tara sweetheart thank you so much sweetheart that was so kind of you but yeah i don't i don't want to be on this shit no more no i don't even have a proper tiktok management and to say that what i've done on this app even they take the piss out of me No, I mean, they don't even secure my accounts. They don't do this and that, but they can go and help man like Dave, innit, with the tarantulas and make sure that he's not mass reported and they've put some on it. But me, no, I have to deal with all the bullshit all the day. People can say what they want about me. They don't get blocked. They can say, the moment Chelsea New York says anything, block straight away. Hello, shopping with Dan. What's Dave done? Well, he's not made money like me on TikTok and he's not got billions of views, sweetheart. But for some reason, he's now got someone that's protecting him with all the trolling. 
So I just don't understand it. How can someone get help but me that's gone through a nightmare? I can't get no help. Doesn't make no sense, darling. So I'm, I've had enough. The agency that have had me have took the piss out of me. Telling me to go to another fucking app. They'll give me a blue tick. Da, da, da. Like what? I said I don't want to go to another app. I want to stay with TikTok, sweetheart. Now how dodgy is that in itself, darling? Now there's another app. They've got another app. There's another app coming out and they're saying for me to get onto this app, they'll give me a blue tick, this and that. But, you know, I'm like, I don't want to go on another app, sweetheart. I want to stay on TikTok. I don't know, I can't tell you, I'm not allowed to. You know, you get these accounts, look, no followers. You're a weirdo, darling. You're not even a proper account. Look. <coughs> <coughs> it's not been released yet. Well, I can get it. Well, so you know what I'm on about, do you? It's so weird that they sub to troll you. I don't game, darling. I'm not a gamer. Oh, thank you, Bella, sweetheart, for subscribing. I mean, if I had one account that I can just, like, you know, progress on, instead of getting blocked every five minutes, having to go to this account, so that I would have fucking millions and millions of followers on an account by now. But the fact that I just have to keep, uh, it's just too much for me. I've got, no, I don't have the energy. I used to have so much energy that I used to put into TikTok, so much. But then your energy just gets broken because you've got people that are jealous of you on the app that just mass report you because of jealousy and they just want you off because you're doing well on the leaderboards, you're doing better than them, da 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 da. And they've totally, and all these fucking gifting circles, you're not famous, you're not a TikTok creator. What you do is fucking you know it's dodgy you're not winning doing it correctly you've got gifting circles going on da 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 and they continue that's they're, they're like you know what they are they're like proper dodgy bastards that are taking money from this app and doing this and that all through a gifting circle so real creators have got no chance now so what's the point in being a tiktoker what's the point in me saying to all right someone like shopping like that who's a new creator or dave's world or something what's the point in me saying all right go and do the leaderboard there's no point because they've got no chance because these other pe fucking gifting circles will come and take them out so it doesn't matter how much support you've got you ain't gonna be able to compete with these people now these people in gifting circles they end up winning the leaderboard yeah make their 40 50 bags and then they go and link up with another person on and then they they go right i'll send you you send me and then they get more people and then they build up like a gifting circle of people darling and then it'll be the next person that wins it next week and then all that money is all with them circling so so you can't get out of it. Now, TikTok have told me to express this whole situation and make a video about it because they think it's wrong as well. But at the end of the day, they're not gonna stop it because it's money that TikTok are making, aren't they? So in a way, it's all fake. I, I work my ass off. I worked my absolute ass off so much to get to number one, to do this, to do that. You know how hard it was? Because they think that they run the app. And the worst thing is these people can walk around outside and no one fucking knows who you are, innit? Because you're not famous one fucking bit. 
No, I mean, the f they, they've got about 300 people watching them, 200 people. And you're a live pro, you're a this, you're going to America, you're doing... What? You know, as much as, you know, as much as I don't really like Gracie neither, she's still got a point about certain things. Do you understand? And I did agree with her when she was saying certain things. And, you know, whatever. Because she's right. The, what is the point in doing, working your ass off? Or, or the, you know, you, you're not going to be able to do it. Because these people just do what they do, in it? It is true, though. And it doesn't matter if I don't get on with Gracie, if she doesn't like me. We can still agree on things on this app that, you know, is just unacceptable. Because it doesn't matter if I don't like someone or they don't like me. It doesn't matter. People have still got people that like them on this app for whatever reason. People that like you know, people, you know, they don't like me. You know, it's, you know, I don't like certain people. It's just how it is, darling. But at the end of the day, everyone's still got a fucking chance, darling. Like, they should have a chance. Exactly. This app so toxic. You've got a boy that's waiting for a new heart being trolled by women. Like, it's, uh, yo, I can't cope. It's too much for me. This app's sick. After what they did to Louis, I, you know, you, I can't. It's too much, man. Thank you, Tara, darling. You know, and the worst thing is, I don't see none of these big creators that are making 50 bags a week or whatever from doing the leaderboards how many times, like Wolf and all this and that. I don't see none of these fuckers supporting. All I see them is trying to chat shit about me, sweetheart, because you could never get me and you're jealous of me. They've done nothing to him because they don't care, darling. They're corrupt. They're like fraudsters on the app. The biggest fraudsters. And even someone like Louis, they would try and stop him from getting to number one. They wouldn't support him. They'd try and go against him so he didn't win. Now, how fucked up is that when this boy's 21 years old waiting for a fucking new heart, doesn't even know if he's going to make it or not? Now, that's... And then you've got people saying that he's lying or is this... Is that normal? Are you crazy? Are you going to allow people to do that to someone that's dying, that's waiting for a new heart? So, you know... These kind of people, mate, I can't. They make me go sick in the head, darling. Trust me. Because I know what it's like to have a fucking heart and be a real bitch, sweetheart. And I would never, ever in a million fucking years do what they do. It's disgusting. They don't care. They're not nice people, darling. Look what they do to me, darling. It just goes to show you. If every single creator that was a big creator like myself went into him and sent him a fucking TikTok stars universe like what I did, and a fucking what did I send him? I sent him um, something else. I spent about 60k on him, yeah? Right, and I'm not really making money like that on TikTok, yeah? And I've had to spend a lot of money. You don't understand what's going on with my situation. I don't really have much left, right? But it doesn't matter. You know, I used all my money and sent it all to Louis, what money I'd made, yeah? Now, if every other creator did that, he'd be sitting at number one right now. And he'd be so happy. And this is a chance, because you don't know how long his life is. But do you think that people, for one second, care to do that to make that boy feel special to make him feel important 
They don't. Because they're not nice fucking people. And I hope they all choke on that money, sweetheart. Because I tell you what, as long as I make money for charity and for co good causes, that's what's going to help my mental health. And that's going to help me more than any fucking amount of money. Now, I know that you need the money to try and do this or do that and da 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 da, you know, but I can do good, raise, I can do charity, raise money and, and do this and do all these things as well for good causes. You know, if I wanted to try and make a million pounds for Louis right now, don't tell me that I couldn't, because I know I could. No, the game, the whole TikTok, the people battling, it's, it's it, for me, it, it really annoys me, because I just think, how can people just sit there, get universes, get all these gifts in a battle, and not even fucking even say thank you? Really, in a way. And they just sit there and it's like they're used to it. Now, is that what happens when you battle? There's there's no, there's not even, it's the most deadest conversations as well. It's like, what? How is anyone even supporting this? It's just bizarre. But yeah, there's no point being a real bitch and speaking real facts about stuff because, you know, no one cares. Mm, you can see it, man. Hello, Maxine. All right, girl. I was pissed as a parrot last night. I don't oh, even... Did you hear my voice note? I thought it was Maldina that wrote it at first. That was, was so thinking... funny. I've, I've just been sanding. I'm covered in sand and stuff. Um, oh, I, I like your body, too, darling. You look lovely today. Oh, thanks, girl. I've just been yeah. sanding. Suits you, that does. <laughs> um, hold up. Why do I do my seat? I saw, I was watching it and you were going, Modine's wrote me a, a note or something. And I was, I just watched you. Have you seen the video? I've got a video what I've done with him with the cop and he's saying thank you and everything. I need to post it oh. and tag you in it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Let me put my earbud in so I can hear properly because my phone's shit. Um, but I was watching. I was watching you last night. Oh, Maxine, I was off my absolute. I drank I, it, the champagne, it licked me. Then I started going crazy. You were making me, but I was nearly wet myself. I was in somewhere and my fucking, they told me to leave because I was being too loud or something. I don't know, these guys told me to join the table. God knows, I was having more drinks. And then all of a sudden they were saying that I was intoxicated, I need to leave. And I was going, I've done nothing wrong. What have I done? And then I started shouting. Then my fucking car declined. I was like, oh my God, I need to go get the cash. They was like, da, da, da. I was like, you know. Yes. <laughs> You just, but then I did, I managed, they, uh, they they let me go, so I was able to go, come back, and then I just got a taxi straight back there and paid the bill, and I was like, I'm so sorry, and I'm bipolar, and I shouldn't even drink anyway, and yeah, but I saw it. I missed, I missed all of it, I didn't see any of it. It was the anniversary of my dad's death yesterday, so I was kind of just like, oh. I, was, I was just didn't want to, like, just, just, I just stayed in bed, basically. Guys, we need 10 people with roses. This is what happens when we battle Chelsea. Well, you know your dad's going to be proud of you with what you're yeah. doing, man. And yeah. Modine loved his cough as well. He yeah. was so happy. Yeah. But when I saw it, I was like, because I saw the first clip I see this morning when I was scrolling through was you meeting him. And I was like, oh, at least she's seen him. So hopefully she was, but I knew he was out. Yeah. So I didn't know if we'd have got, got to give it to they him. He bought me flowers, didn't they? I know. Chelsea, I've seen it. You were crying. Oh, my God. I was just like, what is this? She's so funny. You I'm just so drunk. <laughs> you creased me up. But it wasn't like you didn't seem that pissed. You just seemed emotional. Oh, um, is it? 
yeah so uh it was fun that's that what it was. was though doesn't it it's like you can go from being it'll make you like larry and then it yeah. makes you start going into that depressive um and you're just like so yeah. depressed and then you say horrible stuff and like you well, hate I everyone i haven't drunk so i used to only really drink like socially like i used to go out with my friends like once every three weeks once a month to the pub and stuff um, but I haven't, I haven't drunk. I lost my dad three years ago and I haven't drunk since then. And I think that if I do, I'm just going to be an emotional wreck. Yeah, because it brings out all the it shit. It scares me. Yeah, it scares me. It's scaring me, guys. Yeah, it's, it scares me that I'm going to go down that route. Like, and it's not that I've not, I did go out New Year's Eve and have a few drinks and stuff, but it was just like a meal. So it wasn't like a big, but I yeah. used to love Jager Bomb and stuff. So I, I'd be a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that stuff's crazy, isn't it? I know, I know. I, I do love a Jager bomb, though. My friends are always like, it gets to like nine o'clock, and I'm like, shots, and they're like, it's only nine o'clock, and I'm like, shut up, get one down, yeah. No. <laughs> Did you feel alright today, though? No, I'm so. I feel really like my head. I've even took tablets, but it's like I can't get rid of this pain in my head. I've just got this. It's crazy. I think I've got a chemical imbalance with the certain champagne and it, the, i don't know it okay. is it's crazy what it does to me I, I to the doctor and say this is not normal can you find out what the fuck is going on because how can i have this chemical imbalance but champagne mm. does that to me i can drink i'm actually quite good i drink vodka oh no see i, I could like vodka. i'd end up dead if i drink that Really? Champagne yeah. does me though. It literally, I can have a couple of glasses of champagne and I feel away with the fairies. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. And then yeah. you just want more, innit? Yeah. It's like it becomes addictive. But it gives you heartburn as well, doesn't it, champagne? Well, I it just heartburn. makes me... I get really bad heartburn. I might do a video about it and just, you know, because I need to spread awareness even more and I need to try and stay away from it now myself more than anything. That's yeah. why I can't really go out or go to any of these places because I just find that when I do, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, so even if you just say, oh, I'll just have like one, it just never ends up like that, does it? Mm. God, she's absolutely fresh in us. Can we take the screen? It'd be great if you could. And you know, another thing, Maxine, it's like when you're drinking, though, it's like me, I don't realize that I, my behavior is changing or I'm becoming yeah. loud. I'm just unaware of it from because I'm intoxicated. Yeah. Yeah. You just feel like you're, it is like, it does give you confidence and stuff, though. Like, it, and it does make you just, yeah, it has been a while, but I know what you mean. You don't really feel like you're being. Yeah out of character but at the same time you like you do you get the old confidence in you like yeah thank you everyone thank you Pauline and everybody the tapped and oh vicky's down the bottom i don't know why it puts like it often has like one person that's gifted right at the bottom thank you guys i don't know why that happens but um yeah look i'm just this is what your cups go through this stage Oh, just been sanding the shit out of it. Um, oh, is that what happens? And then yeah. you is that to smooth it? The resin. Yeah. So this one, this one had a wonky butt, and it had. I oh know. I think the butt was alright actually, but I have sanded the butt. But um, it had a few little blemishes in the epoxy. So I mean, it had too many for my liking. So I've just um sanded it right down, and it's just on a drill attachment. Um, and then I've had this bad boy out a minute ago, but I oh, just hate all this bit. Like, it's all nice doing all the, like, the fancy bit and stuff. It's just all this afterwards. And then you go, oh, yeah, I think it's ready. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, no, I didn't spot that bit the first time I looked at it. And it's, yeah. it's frustrating as hell, but it's all part of the process, isn't it? Yeah. So, no, I was sitting on the side yesterday and I was like, I see you sitting. I, did, I put a little video up today because I took quite a lot of video and stuff of them both. And I've posted right. one up today. Um, but yeah, have you tried it yet? No, not yet. I was telling Modine, I was like, to him, because you can put ice in and it'll yeah. stay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so handy. Like, they literally will keep your drink um, cold for hours and hours. Do you yeah, want another yeah. one whilst we're here? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good for summer, isn't it? Like, if you're going to the park and... Definitely. You, so, like, I couldn't read my writing. So, what I said was, I know you hate the black lids, but I'll put it in anyway, because, you oh, know, no, one I day... I the black lid. It's all right. And I just... It, that one's more secure. So, I said, so if you're going down Bond Street for the day out shopping, you might want to put it in your bag. Yeah, so, yeah. And you were trying to read it, and you were like... What? And then you were going, look, it says Maxine. And I was like, that's my card that I wrote. It was so funny this morning when I was watching it. Oh, my God. That's what I mean. Totally drunk. But you, you didn't see me to me. Honestly, I didn't sit there. I was just like, what is she like? She's got confused with this um, thing. It was. I was like, she can't read my writing. Obviously, um, I, was sober, I was sobering up, but still feeling, like, depressed, isn't it? That's the worst though when you get home like and it's not like you're not absolutely smashed that you go to bed. Like when you when you kind of wake up, like when you get home and it's not bedtime, like then you start sobering up and getting a hangover yeah. before like the morning. Oh, that's the worst. I get really, really bad hangovers. Really bad hangovers. My earbud don't help. My earbud earbud hasn't actually worked for some reason. What are you doing for the rest of the day anyway? Oh, I can't do anything. I can't even eat at the minute. I bought food yesterday. I didn't eat though, innit? That's the thing as well. It's just, oh my God. I'll probably feel better tomorrow. But I've stopped, when you eat something I've stopped smoking as well. That's it, because it's crap anyway. So I'm just getting everything out of my body now. That's it. I've stopped a lot. That's Time to be an absolute goody t shoes. No smoke, no drink, no this. And then, what are you going to do, Charles, with your time? You need to get your painting out, babe. Yeah, I need to do more paintings, and, you know, I've got. I'm just trying to sort my stuff out right yeah. now. Just try and give me a little bit, bit more zen. I think once I get everything together and set up and I start making money and stuff like properly, yeah. I'll be better. But right now I'm just feeling like I'm just fucking still in the same situation. Like I'm just, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Like we all, I feel we all have bits like that. Like with nothing, like it's horrible in a way. Like you just feel like, mm -hmm. my God, thank you, Jim. scary. Thank you. I think you sound like you're in like a bit of a blip where you've just had like a little hiccup and it's like made you feel like everything's now on top of you. Thank yeah, you so much. It must be the alcohol. Must be. Yeah, you, I think we all go like through stages like that when you, I'll bore off, mate. I ain't having that shit in my chat. Um, yes, Jen. Thank you, girl. I think we all go through like little stagnant periods where we're like, it can even be like the weather and stuff. Like, I feel yeah. quite good today because it's 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 been quite warm, and I was like, right, get up, get yourself sorted, get down there. I needed to sort out in here, so I just I was I thought if I go live, it will motivate me. But all I've done is sit and chat to everyone. Um, yeah, that's what I think. that's what I want to do sometimes, and then I think, and then I just end up sitting on my ass and like nothing's even getting sorted. Like I need to sort all my art out. Oh, darn it! Do you ever feel like you want to throw some tumblers away sometimes? <laughs> yeah, I do. I I I literally. Yeah, I you feel like they're not good enough for summer because I feel like that with my art now. I'm just starting to get annoyed. So what I do is I keep my, it's very different though, because I can, I can reuse, like I can be like, I, a girl the other day said I like a, pa a tumbler you've got on your website. And I was like, I think I might have stripped it. So with mine, after a certain amount of time, if they don't sell or I keep looking at it and think I don't like it or whatever, you can, I can strip mine down and reuse the cup. Obviously yeah. where with you, it's a little bit different, even though I can spend hours on certain cups and things, but like maybe just i don't know it's probably because you see it all the time because it's there in front of you yeah god we're not doing too bad here um yeah. a... it's probably because you're staring at them or maybe switch it up and like move like move them around a little bit thank you pauline thank you babe yes jen guys thank you 
think you just want up, guys. See, I even like that little one you did. You know when you did it live, you drew a little one. You did a little Oh, one. yes. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Even just like, and you took two seconds to do that. And it was, it yeah. still had your style and stuff to it. It was lovely. Like, even if you just have little things that you do, Delin, and kind of put in some of what's inside of you down on a canvas. MVP, Jen, Pauline, Fangirl, um, sorry, I don't know how to say your name, Bar Barge, um, Tula. Guys, you've all got names that are... That's what happens to me. I like me sparkle. I don't want to capture it. Oh, I no. can't. I'm going to butcher that one. Whoever's number six, thank you so much. Honestly, if I say that, I'll probably end up offending you because I'll get it so wrong. Um, but yeah, even if you're like just chilling, like, I don't know, get like an artist book that you can just kind of get something down on. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not like that though, Maxine. I'll end up buying some canvases. I'll, I'll do one and then I'll do another. And, and then it's yeah, like, yeah. I'm just, I just don't even finish one thing. It's weird. I just so crazy, <laughs> totally. Kelsey, I've got rhinestone cups that I haven't finished, but might have to go past the light so you can see it. Oh, um, God, they're banging. This is lovely. Let me, um, Beautiful, like, that is. That's gorgeous. It's lovely. It's, um, it's coral. Oh, it's when you're on dual screen, it doesn't filter the light properly. It's coral, but this is gold. Um, you can probably see it better here. Um, but I sell this as a kit. Um, and obviously, I should have the whole thing finished for my website. But like, I just photographed it from here, and I've this. I've probably had this in stock over a year. And I just haven't even finished it. I, I'm, I'm like that with loads of things. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous, that one. Yeah, that is a really pretty one. I just need to finish it. Well, you, do, you think, cause you, do you think you stop because you're like, you don't want to mess it up, so you're just still thinking what to do kind of thing? I just get bored and see something else, and I'm like, yeah, I want to start that one. Yeah. I just get bored yeah. looking at the same colours. And this is obviously a pattern, so you like, it's like you count. It's like cross-stitch. You count, oh, right, now I need four coral, then four gold, then two black. So you follow it from a pattern. And after a while, like, you can't, you can watch Tilly and do it, like, but if I'm on the phone, like, I'm on the phone to my American friends on FaceTime and, and stuff all of the time. Um, and you can't do that and, like, focus on that. So it kind of just gets pushed to the side. But something like this one, this is lovely, this one. So, oh wow, that's cool. again. You can't really see it very well. There's the gold. You can see the gold now. That's what the that's the gold that these are. Oh, I love it! Um, wow, it's gorgeous. But these one, it's not. It's you go over a pan. Yeah. If I I hand painted all this leopard print on, and then you can kind of do that without thinking about it too much. So yeah. you, I'm more inclined to carry on with something like that than this because this takes too much of my mind, if that makes sense. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, you should do it. You, I should send you a tumbler and some rhinestones. No, no, no. What I need to do, I was thinking we should definitely meet up and. Um, yeah, I was thinking that maybe I could get you to do some stuff like like help me do resin. Um, or I could do it with you, or you could teach me. I, I don't know. I just feel like I could maybe get you to help me do some. I can pay you and everything. Like, um, we'll get you. We'll get you doing the cup. We'll I need to it's my cup. artwork that I need to resin. I mean, I've still got more artwork that I need to resin now. Do you know what I mean? But I always seem to mess it up. <laughs> well, that's the thing, and it is it is difficult. Yeah. So Jen. Um, I've spoken. No, I mean, if you've seen the state of some of the resin that I've done, you'd be like, you'd probably be able to do a ten times better job. But it's because I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's very different to what I do. I'd have to look into it because people what do what I do, and I have seen them do canvases and stuff. Um, so it'd be something that I need to look into because you'd need to seal your work and stuff as well underneath. So I'll have a look into it, um, and. <sighs> The thing is, Chelsea, I just want Even to my main it. painting now, I totally messed it up. So I need to, I need to re-resonate somehow, some way. 
Um, so maybe I can find someone in the art industry or get my manager to help me find someone to to um, re-resin that one because it's yeah. just a fun this, someone's just said here you need liquitex finish is what you need not resin oh, i don't know it? what that is i'm going to screenshot that and i'll look it up um because like i said it's, it's a totally new someone else has put liquitex comes in high gloss through to matte and what how do you do it then with that you just paint it on i don't know but i can See Liquitex, I know that brand because they do spray paint and stuff. Oh, is it? This is what, uh, right on time, it says it's a lot better than resin. Right on time, can oh. you drop me a message? You brush it on like paint. Oh, is it? Okay. If you can drop me an inbox right on time, because I know Chelsea's keen to get her artwork together. Um, and I'm just, Chelsea, I'd just be so scared that I'd fuck it up. Can you imagine? You kind of fucked it up more than me, sweetheart. If you look at the state of the fucking resin that I've done, it's that's terrible. That's all the you've done, isn't it? That one that's up on the wall now. You've resin oh, that one, haven't you? That's you not moved? too bad. I did that one all right. Because <laughs> yeah. no, I remember you've showed it to me before and you can see it shine as you walk past it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for that on time. Yeah, we were sort of saying, Cal, so the other day, because obviously Modine's cup was ready. Was it that one that had a wonky butt? And I said to you, they'll be out on Monday. And then I was about to pack it away and I was like, got a wonky butt. And then I had to sand it back down. And that's why I messaged you. I was like, listen, I can come and drop it off to you. That's when I was in my dad's truck. Oh, it's this, okay. you would absolutely love it. It's, a, it's an American pickup, but it's white. Like it is, like when I stand next to it, it's like here on me. No way. And uh, you would have freaking loved it. And I was like, I could have dropped it off to you. I could have come up and took you for a for a turf around the around the block. You'd have loved it. Because obviously no. I, then I was like, oh, I said it was going out Monday. Um and then oh, I'm getting some really weird comments. And then um I could have dropped it off to you and I was like, oh she, she ain't got back to me in time. Like I'm just gonna put it in the post. I just wanted to get them. Um but yeah, that would have been so funny. You'd have loved that. <laughs> yeah, I've put, I've, put, I've put on that uh, filter thing now. I can see all the stuff that gets filtered. But um, yeah, Are you and your PJs, I like them. Yeah, yeah, I like those. I've got my niece and nephew today. I'm going out, and I've been sitting in sand and stuff like a nut job. Oh, is it? You got your? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I have them. I, I have them every Thursday after. Was Thursdays? We changed it to Wednesdays. Every Wednesday afternoon since they were like four months old. Oh, and then, really? yeah, my nephew's now 11 and my niece is seven. And oh. they're like the apple of my eye. Like my nephew's, obviously he's my first and only nephew at the time. And yeah. he's like, I'm like one of his best mates sort of thing. He's getting a little bit to that age now where he's like, I'm like, you don't realise how lucky you are to have such a cool auntie, James. Oh, <laughs> like a racing man. driver, like some of his little friends follow me on TikTok. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. So, why well, do these points have to be approved? I've just switched some filtering thing on Jen. Sorry, one of my mods has just messaged me saying, why can't, why do some of these have to be approved? Um, but yeah, I've got them this afternoon, so that'll be nice. No, I've put the filter on, babe. Sorry, you know what it's like. How, how far are you, Maxine? Like about an hour from London to um, Chelsea? Yeah, if I if I want to drive into Central at night, it can take me about thirty five minutes. But if I because I go into like where Great Ormond Street is because that's where my specialist is, and that takes me um, like if I go in the morning, that will take me like an hour and a half. But normally during the day, it's about an hour. Oh, okay. It's only twenty five miles, twenty miles. You with uh, one of these in your hands. Yeah, this is just the Amazon jobby. All right. Okay, so it just smooths it, yeah, and then you can. Yeah. All this right. is just a sounder and it spins but i'll look it I'll, I'll look it up and i'll try and even if i can find um like a video or something because i've got a resin company that i'm working with for a uk tumblr resin um being made at the moment they'll probably know yeah i, I must i'll just definitely speak to them about it they're sending me some more samples and stuff so i will 
Hi, Joe. Oh, oh I like Gen Z now again. Oh. Jim Zeno. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Jim. I love Jim. Yeah, she's nice. She put, she's another one. So just, you guys just make me laugh. Literally, you just all make me laugh. Honestly, this morning when I was reading that, watching that thing when you were trying to read, I was like, she can't read my writing. It's funny. It's funny uh, yeah, Jim is fucking dyslexic as well. I know, no, but it's my writing. When I was writing it, I was like, she ain't going to be able to read this. Um, nah. Oh, thanks, Jess. One of my mods has just said they've sent me a screenshot of the stuff about the painting. There are really helpful videos showing you how to use their products on their site. Awesome. Um, Kyle, I think I've got four gloves for you later, babe. Sorry, what? someone I support has got a... Uh, battle tonight. He's just oh, coming really? off them the clubs I've got. Oh, bless him. <laughs> yeah. I have all the gloves, darling. I oh, know. How many gloves have you got for me, Kyle? I just don't battle enough, to be honest. I find it really difficult to get the balance. Like, my people watch me. You know what, Maxine? I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but it's gone fucking cold. It's like freezing today. It's, I don't know what's going on. It's cloudy in here, but it's, it's quite warm. Mind you, I'm always, it's 18 degrees in here. Um, I might not be well or something. I'm getting cold all the time, man. It has, we had some warm weather, then it got a bit shitty, but I started sorting out my hot tub. I've just got one of them lazy spas and I'm just like, can't wait for the weather. Hot tub. Can't wait for the weather. You wait, hot tub. wait, tell me to get in my box. Have you got a hot tub? Yeah, it's only one of them lazy spas, like... Oh, what, what's like that? The blow -up, what's a lazy spa? The, the blow-up <laughs> ones. Oh, like, no. You know, the ones you can have, like, I have mine up all the time, but it's like, when it's cleaned and stuff, I'll, I'll show you, but it's... um. It's just one you blow up and it's just, I just, honestly, I float about in it in a rubber ring like I'm on bloody holiday with a book. Oh, really? I love it. Put, oh. my, put my tanning oil on in the summer. Oh. Oh. All day. Yeah, it's good if you've got a bloody garden, isn't it? You know what I, I mean? Like, literally, my garden's literally right here. Let me show you. Like oh, oh Maxine. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm in my hot tub. <sighs> it's literally... Oh, you can't see it because of the sun. It's got all shit on it at the moment. I like your ceiling. My mum used to have a fucking um, ceilings that are wood. <laughs> Oh, oh right, okay, bloody hell, yeah. that is huge. I'll have to come. I'll have to come and jump in that with you. <laughs> come, come for a holiday, Ella Maxine's yeah. garden. <laughs> yeah. You are funny. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm supposed to be. Look at this in here. I'm supposed oh, to sort it all out. It's crazy, and it? it's proper workshop, man. It is. To be fair, it don't take long to sit sort out. Um, it doesn't. Yeah, we will have all the mad neighbours. My neighbours are knobs. They hate me. My God, I'm gonna heat my food up. <laughs> yeah, what you got? I went to um, chicken, uh, jerk chicken, and rice and peas. Uh, I don't know if it's going to taste alright though, because I got it yesterday. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, it should be fine, isn't it? I know. Um, oh, yeah. I've got more cups over there, I've got cups of the turners. Oh, my mum's being too fit. Mum? I'm on the phone. Oh. I'm good, I'm good, I'm just going to get changed. All right, cool. I'll see you at home soon. I'm just uh, on about in a battle at the moment. Say hi, Chelsea. Hi. 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 Hi.
Hi, Chelsea. Hello, Tony. <laughs> My mom. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, bye. I didn't see it bloody time. All right, let's go out. Let's go out on the field trip. Where's my sister? I didn't even see the bloody time. She's like, oh, I've just got Abby. She's got her from school already. Normally, I would uh, be around here by now, but I totally, totally, uh, no, um, SKB, I ain't, I ain't got no kids. It allows me to have late mornings, I go racing, and I get What's to do all of guys? Hello, my gorgeous. Ginger Janey. Oh, Jen, you missed it. We was live with Ginger Janey. This is when we need you, Kyle. We need you to come in and start, mate. <laughs> what, come get in the hot tub? Uh, the bloody weather needs to warm up, man. But mind you, when I get when the weather warms up, I hate it in here because it's too fucking hot. So yeah, because you can't escape it, can you? Can't. Yeah, God, carry on banging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your neighbours love you, didn't they? Uh, A bit like mine. No, they can't talk anyway. I'm fucking banging up the place all the time. Then the car declined. And then I had to go back home, transfer the money, go back to the place to pay my bill. Thank you, Gems. Yeah, the champagne, I had too much. I was drinking a £150 fucking glass. I had two glasses, £330 it cost me in that fucking place. Anyway, it's what it is. These Arabs don't give a fuck about me. They'd rather hang out with Eastern European prostitutes, darling, than a real English bitch. Because they ain't getting nothing from me. So what are they getting out of me? Nothing. Because I'm not a whore. So there you go, sweetheart. So what they do is they hang out with all these hookers. Yeah, all these prostitutes that look like it's fucks and they're like fucking, you know, and they go and get all this surgery done and all this fake bundles and all this bullshit that's going down. And they make a fortune. Uh, they don't want a real English bitch like me because I'm a boring bitch. I, I, I don't want to sniff Charlie. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So what? I'm a boring bitch then, yeah? So I stay far from my sister, innit? And that's the danger. Because the old junkies, these rich people, the old cokeheads and that, that's, you know, it's dangerous for me. I don't do drugs. I don't want to be around junkies. It's so hard for me to be in, like, having, like, seen of all this, been around it all, you know? To really get the insight about it.
I'm sure them guys must have complained about me because I was sat there, I was chilling with them. They was talking to me. They told me to come and join them. That's what I'm saying. It's only because I was drinking and they're like, oh, come and join us. Like, are you on your own? So I was just, you know how I am, chat, chat, chat. And then next thing, fucking... I don't know, man. They said that I was being too loud and they've asked me to leave the hotel place. I was like, I don't even know what's going on, man. Oh, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know what I did wrong, man. Didn't even do nothing, I don't think. I don't know, man. But that's what I mean. They could have complained about me. I said something. I don't know, because I was, I don't know. Fuck knows. Being too loud, what, because you're all so fucking stock up, sweetheart, and you've got all these rich Arabs in there, and yeah, like, I can't talk. You know what? Go fuck off. Can't be bothered. They piss me off, man. These fucking places, man. I don't know who they're fucking talking to. Like, I can't fucking talk or something. Or they want to try and disrespect me. Or tell me to leave. Or they... What? Because I'm not sat there with my fucking legs crossed. Fucking keeping my mouth shut. Pretending to be a fake bitch. You know what I mean? You've got prostitutes sat in there. You know what I mean? Thinking, you know, and they treat a prostitute better than me. So I don't really care no more. Do you understand? I tell them to F off in their face and I'll never go back in there again because I'm too much of a real bitch, darling. And I'll say, yeah, be nice to whores and treat a real English girl like shit. And then that'll make me go cooking and then I'll just fuck off because I just think, fuck you. And then everyone can pretend to be a Chelsea Lee art from which, you know, because they're real bitches gone. I'm done out of this app. You've lost me because to be a real creator and to have created some real shit. And I made the whole four fucking years into this app darling four years i'm gone call me a trendsetter call me whatever it is you want to call me darling go shopping i don't want to go shopping i don't even want to come outside my house i don't want to be in the public eye no more thank you tara sweetheart thank you so much sweetheart that was so kind of you but yeah i don't i don't want to be on this shit no more no i don't even have a proper tiktok management and to say that what i've done on this app even they take the piss out of me No, I mean, they don't even secure my accounts. They don't do this and that, but they can go and help man like Dave, in it, with the tarantulas and make sure that he's not mass reported and they've put some on it. But me, no, I have to deal with all the bullshit all the day. People can say what they want about me. They don't get blocked. They can say, the moment Chelsea the Art says anything, block straight away. Hello, shopping with Dan. What's Dave done? Well, he's not made money like me on TikTok and he's not got billions of views, sweetheart. But for some reason, he's now got someone that's protecting him with all the trolling. So I just don't understand it. How can someone get help but me that's gone through a nightmare? I can't get no help. Doesn't make no sense, darling. So I'm, I've had enough. The agency that I've had me have took the piss out of me telling me to go to another fucking app. They'll give me a blue tick, da, da, da. Like, what? I said I don't want to go to another app. I want to stay with TikTok, sweetheart. Now, how dodgy is that in itself, darling? Now, there's another app. They've got another app. There's another app coming out, and they're saying for me to get onto this app, they'll give me a blue tick, this and that, but... You know, I'm like, I don't want to go on another app, sweetheart. I want to stay on TikTok. I 
I don't know, I can't tell you, I'm not allowed to. You know, you get these accounts, look, no followers. You're a weirdo, darling. You're not even a proper account. Look. <coughs> <coughs> it's not been released yet. Well, I can get it. Well, so you know what I'm on about, do you? It's so weird that they sub to troll you. I don't game, darling. I'm not a gamer. Oh, thank you, Bella, sweetheart, for subscribing. But, I mean, if I had one account that I can just, like, you know, progress on instead of getting blocked every five minutes having to go to this account so that i would have fucking millions and millions of followers on an account by now but the fact that i just have to keep uh, it's just too much for me i've got no, i don't have the energy i used to have so much energy that i used to put into tiktok so much but then your energy just gets broken because you've got people that are jealous of you on the app that just mass report you because of jealousy and they just want you off because you're doing well on the leaderboards you're doing better than them da, 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 da. and they've totally and all these fucking gifting circles you're not famous you're not a tiktok creator what you do is fucking you know it's dodgy you're not winning doing it correctly you've got gifting circles going on da 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 and they continue they're, they're like you know what they are they're like proper dodgy bastards that are taking money from this app and doing this and that all through a gifting circle so real creators have got no chance now so what's the point in being a tiktoker what's the point in me saying to all right someone like shopping like that who's a new creator or dave's world or something what's the point in me saying all right go and do the leaderboard there's no point because they've got no chance because these other pe fucking gifting circles will come and take them out so it doesn't matter how much support you've got you ain't gonna be able to compete with these people now these people in gifting circles they end up winning the leaderboard yeah make their 40 50 bags and then they go and link up with another person on and then they they go right i'll send you you send me and then they get more people and then they build up like a gifting circle of people darling and then it'll be the next person that wins it next week and then all that money is all with them circling so so you can't get out of it. Now, TikTok have told me to express this whole situation and make a video about it because they think it's wrong as well. But at the end of the day, they're not going to stop it because it's money that TikTok are making, aren't they? So in a way, it's all fake. I, I work my ass off. I worked my absolute ass off so much to get to number one, to do this, to do that. You know how hard it was? Because they think that they run the app. And the worst thing is these people can walk around outside and no one fucking knows who you are, innit? Because you're not famous one fucking bit. Know what I mean? The f they, they've got about 300 people watching them, 200 people. And you're a live pro, you're a this, you're going to America, you're doing... What? You know, as much as, you know... As much as I don't really like Gracie neither, she's still got a point about certain things. Do you understand? And I did agree with her when she was saying certain things. And, you know, whatever. Because she's right. The, what is the point in doing, working your ass off? Or, or the, you know, you, you're not going to be able to do it. Because these people just do what they do, in it. It is true, though. And it doesn't matter if I don't get on with Gracie, if she doesn't like me, we can still agree on things on this app that, you know, is just unacceptable. Because it doesn't matter if I don't like someone or they don't like me. It doesn't matter. People have still got people that like them on this app for whatever reason. People that like 
you know, people, you know, they don't like me. You know, it's, you know, I don't like certain people. They're, it's just how it is, darling. But at the end of the day, everyone's still got a fucking chance, darling. Like, they should have a chance. Exactly. This app so toxic. You've got a boy that's waiting for a new heart being trolled by women. Like, it's, uh, yo, I can't cope. It's too much for me. weirdos man requesting me honestly i'm gonna end my life block all these weirdos and then come back Deborah, thank you. And Sarah Lou, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, M, you just became a six month subscriber. All right. Millie's back up. Thank you, gorgeous. Let's just block all these trolls as well. No. Oh. Thank you, Laura. Oh. What's eating normally? How do you eat normally? I didn't realise that they give you all this food in fucking Selfridges. My fucking life, man. Maybe it's because she was just being kind, man. Fucking hell. Like, come on, sister, man. This is like enough food for two people, man. It's like in Primark. I bought the dress. So I went to take the dress back. Oh, listen to what happens. This is always what happens to me, yeah. So I've gone to take the dresses back in Primark and one of the dresses that I've bought, it's not on the receipt. So I'm like, what the hell, man? Like, so I've said to the woman, I said, well, I, I said, darling, I bought it here. That's the receipt, darling. So, you know, it's not my problem. It's your fault. And, um... Yeah, so I had to just buy the dress again. And then they had the dress. And I'm like, well, give me back the other dress that I brought in then, sweetheart. Because, you know, just because I, you know, you mustn't have scanned it. So I ended up getting a dress for free, innit? Even though I paid for another one, the other one that I bought... <coughs> no, I didn't get it for free. What am I on about? Anyway, whatever, man. I'm going to give it to Natalie because it might fit Natalie. Um... 
because the sizes are insane. I think it might look nice on Natalie, that one. It'll probably fit her um, on holiday or whatever. It will look nice. But she is a lot skinnier, so I don't know if even if it's going to fit her. It might be way too big. But then again, she's got a bonder, so it might be the... But obviously here, she's tiny, like, around here. Oh, yeah, I can take it back with the other receipt, can't I? I can just put the other label on it. Some dude is pretending to me because I'm famous, so why are they pretending I'm famous, so why are they pretending to pretending to be me because I'm a I get all the clout so I look at it as a compliment darling because if you're not being imitated on this app you're an absolute nobody no one cares it's not my money let them do what they want I'm done I'm not bothered I'm not interested sweetheart taking the piss yeah well you'll be taking the piss when you're getting legal papers served to you for disformation of character and pretending to be me on a platform so you know they think that it's fun now but it won't be fun when i'm coming for you and taking your ass down the legal procedures darling and i've got all the video evidence of you acting me out every day so there you go it's defamation of character is bullying as well and you're coming on an app pretending to be me. That's like me coming on here pretending to Katie Price. You, it doesn't make no sense, man. What kind of weird business? Coming on here pretending to be Nikki Cardi B or somewhere like that. But I just take it as a compliment because I'm a famous bitch. That's why you want to fucking imitate me, innit? There you go, because you get all the views. There you go, because I'm an absolute somebody and not an absolute nobody. There you go. So it just goes to show that all these other creators are an absolute nobody because who's coming on and pretending to be them? Fucking no one, darling, because they're an absolute nobody. So there we go. And I'm being imitated because you're the best creator on the app. There we go. And if I wasn't, they wouldn't be fucking imitating me. So we'll have all the clout, darling. And you know what? They're just promoting for me. So I look at it as a good thing. Like, you're just making me even more famous. You're just making me even more famous. You know what I mean? So there we go. Flowers don't really. The only flowers that last me a long time is the one that Modine gets me for some reason. I don't know, it's crazy. The ones he gets me just seem to just last forever. I think he's left his lid here, man. He's left one. Never mind, I have to give him one. He's got the black lid then.
He always gets me the like proper posh roses, man. <laughs> like, Modi, he always gets me like the proper posh ones, man. Like. I'm waiting for the water to go cold. They are beautiful. They're so beautiful, isn't it? I love flowers. He gets me the best flowers, man. Mm -hmm. 